Good morning, YouTube, and thank you for tuning in to Diva Style 33's channel. I am coming at you once again with another chemical peel. This chemical peel is uh, very mild. It is a lactic acid and glycolic uh, peel. It's a level 3, 50% glycolic and 60% lactic acid. Uh, it's by Derma Solutions, as you can see, if you can read that. Um, also, I'm going to be cleansing my skin with a hospital grade cleanser. It's called Dynahex 4 and it's used for um, a surgical scrub and patient, uh, patients who are getting their skin ready for surgery. So it really does a good cleansing and it's going to make sure I have no impurities in my skin. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to clean my face with the um, Dynahex 4. So we're going to do this start to finish. Make sure my skin is good and clean. I'm also going to use a timer for the chemical peel because I'm only going to leave it on for three minutes. And because this is a light chemical peel, it's not going to peel um, the way my previous the way my previous peels have peeled before, with the drastic peeling and the darkening of the skin. It's not going to do that. It's going to gradually slough off the skin, which is what I wanted to do because I work in the public. So I don't have um, that freedom to have that downtime because I'm, I'm, I'm working with several people in front of several people um, a day. So I'm going to start out by saturating the um, cotton with the solution. I'm going to use the right smart amount so that I can get good coverage. And it has a dropper uh, it has a dropper on it. So you just kind of have to tap the solution out, which is good so that you don't uh, oversaturate the pad. And I'm just going to go over the skin a couple of times wait three minutes and rinse it with a copious amount of uh, cold water which just means a lot of cold water sorry for the big words I apologize for that um, I'm going to go ahead and start under my eyes and saturate the skin it's already producing a tingling effect I'll go around my mouth very lightly, nothing serious, and I'm not going to wipe real hard. Just going to make sure that I get the areas that are really breaking out on me right now, which would be my cheeks and my chin and right around my mouth for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm going to go ahead and start my timer because from start to finish, I'm only going to do three minutes. And it's already been like one minute.
So I'm going to let that suffice and go with that. And as you can tell, the cotton swab is still white. So it was real, my face was really clean. Go over the areas that I'm really having problems with a little bit more. And as you can see, it's already starting to produce a red, a redness. That's just the chemical peel kind of working. It's not uh, burning me or anything. It is a little um, stingy. But again, it's not burning um, uncontrollably like some of the other peels that I've used where you have to take a fan and kind of fan your face to um, get it to cool down a little bit. So again, that's uh, Derma Solutions Combination Peel. It's 50% glycolic and 60% lactic acid, and it's a level three, and you get a two full ounce bottle. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but you can get it on eBay. Just type in Derma Solutions and all their products will come up. And you can use the same one I use. It, come with, it comes with the uh, instruction pamphlet and the um, white cleansing, the white pads to apply the peel. You can also stop the action of the peel with a um, baking soda and water mixture, like a paste. But I just prefer to use lots of cold water and that stops the action of the peel for me. Um, and then I don't have any more problems. I apply um, a good moisturizer and a um, um, tea tree oil. I use a tea tree oil, a good moisturizer, and a good um, soap. And I recommend this goat's milk soap because it's rich in moisturizing and pure vegetable oil soap and it has fresh goat's milk in it. You can get this at any health food store. Um, like I said, it it's just got vegetable oil in it so it's going to provide a good moisturizing effect. Um, I've also used olive oil in the past. Um, you can use olive oil. It's a good also a good one to use to um, heal the skin. Olive oil, um, tea tree oil, any of those things that are natural, which they are. So it's been three minutes since I started applying. It's been actually about four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse because I don't want the peel to stay on too long and actually burn my skin because as you can see, it's already um, got the redness. <clears throat> it's already got the redness. This peel doesn't provide the frosting effect that other peels um, um, produce. That's why you have to time it and take it off in a timely manner because the frosting from the other peels is what lets you know that the, that the peel is completing itself and you can rinse it off at that time. But right now I'm going to rinse with just cold water and stop the effects of the peel. I have a little frosting right around here, which is where I had a, um, a combination of uh, whiteheads and blackheads right here at the corner of my mouth and I don't know why. But um, I believe it's a reaction from some medication that I'm taking. Um, I had some really, I had some problems with some, with my iron being really low and so they gave me some medication and I think I'm having a breakout from that. But aside from that, everything is fine and I'm going to go ahead and rinse now because it's been about five minutes and we want to go ahead and rinse this off so that it can start the healing process and bring out all the acne and and just clear it up. It's going to slough off just a little at a time. It's not going to be anything serious. I'm still going to wear um, a little powder foundation over the peel to make sure that I don't scare people or anything or they ask me what happened to your face. So um, I'm going to go ahead and rinse. It's been about six minutes now.
Sorry about that. Okay. I've rinsed the skin. And as you can see where the chemical peel is taking effect, all around here and all around here is kind of frosted up. So it looks like it's hitting all the areas that I wanted it to actually hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash with the vegetable soap, goat's milk vegetable soap, just to get some moisturization back in my skin. And you do get a little bit of a burning, uh, stinging sensation. That's just because you just put a chemical on your face. And to me, that's going to be normal. And I'm going to blot. I'm not going to wipe. I'm just going to blot the skin. wiping around the areas that I didn't actually apply the chemical peel to. So right now I'm just blotting. And as you can see, the chemical peel took very well to my skin because you get the effects of, um, I don't know if you can see how the graininess, it's real grainy. Um, Maybe I should turn around and face the camera. If you can see, my face is very grainy in some spots. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm not too close to the camera. But it provided a graininess effect. It actually took off a little skin right here. So that's right around the mouth area that I was talking about. But um, in all essences, um... I think the chemical peel is going to go very well. Now I'm going to apply a mixture of tea tree oil, um, actually I'm going to use a vitamin C and C buckhorn moisturizer. That's going to give me vitamin E to my skin, which I need, and it's also going to repair, it's a repairing, um, moisturizer. So I'm going to apply some of that. You can also apply a little bit of aloe vera um, to the skin. It's a healing um, product as well. And I'll probably do that as well. Just to cool the skin off, add some extra moisturization and healing for your chemical peel. You can buy this product at any health food store. It's by Now Solutions and it's called Vitamin C and C Buckhorn. Buckthorn, I'm sorry, moisturizer. It's for most skin types. It brightens and repairs and it's paraben free. It's about $8.
and that feels real.